have head coach Chase Rowe and student athletes Walla Hyduke and Colin Fiegels. Uh Coach, do you have some opening remarks? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I thought, uh, you know, obviously Walt here did a great job for us. He's been, uh, you know, probably pitching like the guy we thought we recruited the last two, three months of this season. Um, you know, he's won some big games for us in the past and, uh, you know, proved it again today with, uh, you know, a solid performance. Um, you know, we've been battling, battled last night, had a tough loss um, and, and really, you know, all year have had, you know, strong senior leadership. Um, you know, from guys like these two and the guys last night to, uh, you know, get our record where we're at. So, um, you know, I'm proud of these guys. We've got a good group of guys, and, you know, we're just happy to be able to say see you tomorrow. Hey, Coach, it feels a lot better to be on this side of a walk-off, doesn't it? It sure does, yeah. Uh, you know, it's never fun being on the other side of those things, especially when you fight and scratch and claw the entire game and, and uh, you know, end up getting your heart broken. So, yeah, it's nice to be on this side. Right, and you beat Frostburg State two times already in the regular season. Did that give you guys more confidence in heading into this game? Um, yeah, I mean, we, we, we ultimately believe, um, I think like any good team or any good competitor, that we can win any time out. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, we, we had a little bit of a confidence factor that we know, we know that we had got a chance to beat them twice. But they're, they're an amazing team. I mean, 38-7 and seven, um, in, in an, you know, an obviously strong co competitive conference that they play in. So we were fortunate to, uh, you know, be on the right side tonight. Colin, um, what a big time hit for you, won the game, just talk about how that felt and just that whole at bat. Um, well, to be honest, uh, walking up to uh, the box, my heart was just flying all over the place and then uh, when I got to the box, I took a deep breath um, and I just looked at my back and I said, uh, it's just me and the pitcher and I tried to get myself in the zone and um, that pitcher uh, throwing a good curveball and he getting me on that, so I was just fighting those off get a fastball and try to make it work for us, and I got lucky enough to make it worked. And while um, last night Tyler threw 153 pitches, you just threw 141. Um, just talk about your performance. I'm guessing the pitch count is just a number at this point. <laughs> yeah, pitch count, being a senior, it's, it was winter, you're done today, and we just wanted to go out there and play our best, and Frostburg's a good team. And, I mean, beating them twice in the regular season, we knew that we could do it. And I just went out there and pitched the ball, let him hit it, and teammates backed me up. All right, speaking of that, um, there, you weren't in a lot of jams, but um, it seems like the one that you were really pumped out, pumped about getting out of was in the eighth inning. They had base loaded one out, the uh, 6-4-3 double play. Just talk about that moment. Yeah, I mean, bases loaded, game's on the line at that point, and uh, I just wanted to get make my pitch, get a ground ball like I did uh, my shortstop, and, Fecals made the play. Coach, um, like you said, you can just live to play another day. You That's know, right, yeah. We, I mean, we, we've we been waiting to make that 6-4-3 double play uh, <laughs> in about 12 of these losses. So, um, you know, it was nice to finally spin one and, and come out on the right side tonight. Any other questions for Coach or the student-athletes?